All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, here's this morning's action. Uh, what we have, uh, we have um, this new indicator coming out to you guys uh, with um, sort of what's got, I call a power-up setting, meaning it, uh, it looks for strict momentum in the market, and uh, the indicator is going to come with an automated strategy where it can uh, automatically um, buy and sell for you based upon the criteria that you put in. So we'll be going, uh, uh, Gerald's wrapping that up right now, and we'll be getting it out to you. So look, look at this morning's action. Let's go over the basis, I mean the basic methodology of uh, what the indicators are going to do. So this morning, um, you can see that we have the oscillator below with our zone indicator. Zone indicator, um, when it comes down to zone, these are FZR trades. They're called full zone retracements. Okay, you get into the zone, you get a qualified reversal bar. These are buys. That's a buy. That's a buy. FCR buy, FCR buy. Well, what I wanted to do, I didn't want to flood the chart with tons of arrows. I wanted, I wanted to put the charts on on the new indicator coming out to you. What, you know, I, I sort of call it the power setup in the market because um, the market really tends to uh, take off. If you look at the um, I ran every trade from January, beginning of January to March the 8th uh, for members uh, here this week on the auto, uh, and we saw the results on that, and we saw the results um, were really nice uh, based upon that methodology uh, this week. I'm going to run it again um, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, if you guys want to come in at uh, 4 o'clock, I'm going to run my momentum strategy that I'm going over right now, an automated strategy, and with the new indicator that you guys are going to get that Gerald's wrapping right now for you. He has it in his hands. So we're going to get that out to you. We're going to get um, the momentum indicator in this wave strategy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to play every single trade from January to um, next Wednesday. Uh, 24 hours a day. So you're going to see every single trade. Okay, so that's next week. But the whole methodology of this, the reason I want to flood this with a lot of uh, arrows on FCRs and so on and all the Momo trades is we know how to do my methodology. I've done tons of videos on it already. But I wanted to show the arrows that possibly could be the biggest inflection points in the market. That way when they fire off, you know you possibly get a nice move possibly happening this, where the market's going to go vertical. Now I call it the power setup because I have an oscillator below and we know my regular Momo setup says, hey, if I'm in an uptrend, if I'm in an uptrend, then what I want to see is I want to be above this oscillator, this green line. This oscillator, when this arrow fires, and now these arrows will fire automatically for you. So when these arrows do fire at this level, above 20, that's a regular Momo trade. But what I'm going to do on the workspaces I send out, I'm going to put this midline on here. And this is a midline. What the midline says is this, is if I get the arrow that fires on this indicator, this, these indicators are getting out to you in any market. And this is any futures, any currency, uh, any crypto market. You can even trade on indexes, individual stocks. You can do OEX options, intraday options with it. I mean, really, the, the sky is unlimited on what type of markets you can trade with this type of setup. But we know we only have two setups. We have an FZR trade, which you come into my full zone retracement. My zone should reverse the market um, with a high probability trade with a small stop just outside of it. So the second trade, that this power zone trade that the automated, because uh, the strategy I'm getting out to you will take these FZR trades, and it will take this specifically. You can make it just take this specific trade I'm talking about right now. And this, this, uh, this momentum trade is qualified uh, with looking for vertical markets because when this oscillator, the, the, the best you get is that when you get an extreme momentum trade when you're above 80, uh, but when an arrow comes up, that's your ultimate buy signal. But if you come down to 50, uh, the midline 50, and you get an arrow that fires, that's a very high probability trade. So that happened here this morning. Uh, yesterday, it just fired a lot of trades with the same type of setup. Let's take a uh, look at last night. This is last night into uh, after the market opened back up at 6 p.m. And you can see all three went to my midline and fired the arrow 
it was just beautiful trading after the market opened back up on the ES S&P 500. Let's take a look during the trading day. It absolutely nailed the market yesterday according to this methodology. Let's take a look at this. Yesterday, it was absolutely on fire according to this method. If you look below 50, one, two, three, those are the, your largest swings of the afternoon. And this is looking all the way back to 10 o'clock in the morning all the way to 3 o'clock at night. These arrows automatically fired. So you got a Momo, Momo, FCR right into my zone. Momo, 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 FCR to my zone, FCR into my zone, and then Momo. But let's take a look at the power setup, I call it, per, uh, pretty much, because if you look at the power setup, which I'll run for you guys on automated trading next Wednesday and show you, this arrow fired. Look how it's below the midline. Look at the arrow that fired here below the midline. Now this arrow specifically will come up when certain criteria happen in the market and I have a strength setting for that. You can loosen it up or tighten it up as much as possible. If you just want to take this on the automated trading system like this, you can do that. Uh, so if you look here's extreme Momo, here's below midline, here's below midline. So if I want to do that on automated trading, I can. I'll show you yesterday's trades. So this is my momentum indicator. So you can see that Right here is my midline, and I specifically told the automated system to only take trades like this that you're going to be getting, and it will only look for trades, only stock trades below that 50 midline. So right here is our trade. It got short at 42 into the close, and it went down to 15. Guys, this is not a scalping. You can you can put this to to a scalping setting where you're risking X amount of points to get at X amount of ticks, but this is not designed like this. These are not small moves we're looking for. When we take risk in the market, we're looking for these nice, uh, uh, nice large uh, potential moves with small risk because we're putting our stop just outside of the swing high. So your stop is above this swing right there. Your stop is above the swing. And the key to the system is the runner. So if you see these yellow, tr yellow trail dots, that's trailing price. So once you get into the position on the automated uh, system, that's your stop right there immediately. It's going to trail price all the way down. Now this is the 20. Um, this is the 20 Rinko. This is a 20 Rinko yesterday. So this is a 120 20. Um, I showed you the 135 and the 130 I'll show you on the uh, other one. So I'll show you multiple Rinko sizes so I can use it. But you look how the trail holds all the way down to 15. That's a nice substantial move into the close yesterday. Uh, 39.42 to 15. If I look at the trade that happened before that, it's a pretty good move too. The two trades before that, I mean, look at this. We got 81 down to a 65. I mean, we're talking 16 point move, guys. And then right here, 96 down to a 91 and three quarters. So, but if you look at look how it's cherry picking the trades for you, what it's doing is it's getting into it's getting into the power zone trade, which is below the midline. So that's a power zone trade. That's a power zone trade. You know, because what it's doing, I call it the zone area because it's below the 50 midline. We already know that my Momo's got to stay below 80. So this is just, this is a regular Momo trade right here, guys. So this is a regular Momo trade. It stays below 80. So that's still an entry according to my methodology. If you just want to take momentum trades all day long, you could do that according to my method with the zone trader and the strength indicator you could do that or if you want to add in the FZRs this is an FZR yesterday uh, you can add on a larger swing and get that one also but as you can see you can literally come in and that's that's a Momo also but it's not a power zone pretty much say well, because it's not below the midline so I'm leaving the midline on the workspaces and also in the indicator so you guys can see how how, how power powerful that that little trade is so it can work out really well so if you look at yesterday uh, going into that close we had a really nice uh, every since uh, noon all the way in it caught the nice swings to the downside uh, for you guys now this is the S&P ES um, you know you can trade the micros which is one tenth of the S&P um, and so on as far as that goes so we got the unemployment uh, claims coming out 825 hey guys we're gonna look for the same exact, exact setup right we're going to look for momentum in the market. Uh, Non-farm payrolls is one of the biggest news events of the month for us. Uh, 
that in the Fed Fed meetings. So we have non-farm payrolls, starts it out of the month. Then we roll into uh, PPI, CPI, retail sales, and GDP. We see a lot of these trades like this, right? These power setups where you're below the midline, oscillator below, you see these arrows fire on my indicator. So you're going to see these, these fire off this morning uh, when it starts firing off. So, you know, let's watch that. Um, this should see some a similar price action like yesterday. I will mark these charts up for you members and get out. But next Wednesday, we'll have a call. So that's the first power up we had here this morning. That's a power setup. That's the only one we had since midnight last night. This is the only arrows that fired. I want to keep it like this because we know what the FZRs are already. And if you want these FZRs to show up with an arrow, you can turn on my strategy and specifically do that and have all these fire off on every one of these swings. Swing here, swing here, swing here, swing here, swing here, swing here, swing here. But I thought, you know what? Let's put some arrows up that are very, very accurate on a daily basis on all these markets. Let's only fire the arrows that significantly can move the market on a vertical movement. And if you want these FCR trades, you can add it into the strategy and you can move on from there. But this way, it really focuses, focuses you on say, hey, let's get into this market when it's setting lower lows and higher highs. Let's get into this market when we have the best possible chance for success on runners. And I'm not talking small runners. You know, these runners have very small stops, but large potential um, uh, moves. So that's all about the reward or risk. So Gerald's wrapping these up. You will get the indicator. You will get the two strategies. We'll run these two strategies next week.